Hello, and welcome to the video about my new Rhino EN08 digger. I thought I'd do a quick video of this to say what are my thoughts on it. I've had it for about a month now, and I've done 10 hours with it. We use it at work for trenching and doing digging works, we're electricians. And I use it at my house where I've got lots of jobs for it, putting up a new garage, digging ponds, lots of fence posts and stuff like that. So I thought I'd treat myself to this machine. Now, why did I buy this machine? Well, it's mostly because of the weight. This machine weighs in at 800 kilograms, so under a ton. And it has a width, overall width of 36 inches or 90 centimeters. So it's very narrow. It's what I might class as a micro machine. It is piped for attachments, so I'm looking to buy the auger bits with it to do the fence holes, which is about just under 700 pounds. When I bought it, it came with three buckets, which are, well, when I've got this one on. The machine itself runs on a one-cylinder diesel engine, which is a copy, I believe, of a Yanmar diesel engine. So it's not, it's air-cooled, there's no liquid cooling, and I like that because there's less to go wrong with this engine. This excavator, mini digger, whatever you want to call it, is what I would call a machine from about 15, 20 years ago, maybe even a bit more. It's very basic, there's no computers, everything is done by traditional lever method on the hydraulics. The machine has more than enough power for its size. The ground, I live in Essex, is incredibly hard at the moment. We've had a really hot summer and this machine has done okay. It has struggled, but then again, I think most excavator diggers have at the moment. I had a pump fail on it. So it has one pump to do all the, all the items on it, which is a bit of a disadvantage because it means it only could do one thing at a time. And that's where the price of it comes in. Now this one pump failed and it lost some power and particularly on the tracks I noticed it. But the company I bought it off was so quick coming out they came all the way from I believe Chester down to here on a Sunday and replaced the pump for me. I'm back up to full power. So it was bought off a company called WMS Power Equipment Limited which is wspoweronline.com this isn't an advert for them. I bought the machine off them. They were quick to uh, reply to my emails. They were good to deal with. And I was happy with it. The machine is easy to use. And I shall start it up for you. It's not overly noisy. Though one of the first jobs I did was to put soundproofing in the engine compartment, like a foam, sticky back foam insulation. This has helped to make it a bit quieter. You can see we have a sight glass here for the hydraulic fluids, very handy, and one here for the diesel level. Very good on diesel. Now moving forward, I've had to take the canopy off this at the moment because it's at my workshop, my yard, whatever you want to call it, to do some jobs on it. So I've had to take the canopy off. So that is sitting behind us down there. It's a very nice canopy with a little bit of a roof on it. There are a few jobs to do on this now, I think. Number one, I'm going to give it an oil change. It's got 10 hours on it, and I don't know the grade or the quality of Chinese oil. Nothing to say Chinese oil isn't any good, but I'd rather put my own in it. And for the small amount of oil that this thing holds, you may as well do it. I'm not going to change the filter this time. The other jobs I want to do is these rams or hydraulic cylinders, whatever you want to call them, are a bit vulnerable here. So I'm going to make up a shield to cover this area up. And this one down here as well on the front blade. I want something to cover those up so it doesn't get... I, I've noticed I've had a couple of rocks already fall in here and that's, that's particularly vulnerable. So I'm looking to address that. Another job I'm looking to do... I've acquired a lot of this steel which must be about 10 millimetres thick and I thought this would make an ideal thumb for it. Now, I've seen lots of videos about this, I might have to put a bracket here as well to sort of like this. I feel this would be a really good addition to the digger. So that's something I'm looking to do. So I've got it here to measure up for that so I can weld it up. Make the guards up, that's some tread plate, 5mm tread plate I've got kicking about. 
give it an eye on trains, go through it. I've greased it already, but I feel like greasing it. I don't like the, the grease nipples they put on it. So like a needle one. I would rather it be changed to the traditional ones. So I've got to hop all those out and get those changed. Otherwise, very impressed with the machine. I shall put it in the um, shed for you to have a look. enjoyed this video if you want to see more please leave a message and I'll document my tests of this machine to see you know ongoing whether I think it was worth it because I could have bought a second-hand machine but for the price of this which was because it had the swing boom on it as an extra it was six thousand four hundred pounds including the VAT I was offered second-hand machines for three thousand pounds they were 20 years old and they, they they were pretty much at the end of their life this has got a warranty on it, it's 12 months guarantee, it's very straightforward, spares are readily available online, that's not a problem. I'm not going to use it that much, so I don't see there being a problem with wearing it out. I'd be lucky if I do 100 hours on this in a year. So, to me, this is enough to pay, it's a nice item, it fits in well. So let's keep an eye out, see how we get on with building a farm, doing an oil change, uh, making the guards for it and changing those grease nipples. Thank you very much for watching.